<laughs> Hello and uh, welcome. This is a Cosmo Urban. Now, this is a vehicle from Leica. Leica might consider this to be a camper van. Uh, I wouldn't, but uh, let's have a look at what it is before I continue to bombard you with my opinion. This thing here is under five meters in length. In fact, it's 497 centimeters. It's an Ford Transit Custom, which is which is so far so good. 199 width, 209 in height. Uh, starts off at 70 and a half thousand. This thing's almost 75,280 euros. Now, uh, and this is what it's got. Now, before we do anything else, I'm going to show you something which is probably has as much functionality uh, as a camper van as this vehicle. And that this, that's one of these two pickup airs which are now coming backwards and forwards. That thing there has got about as much functionality as a camper and as that has. All right, I'm exaggerating a little bit. Uh, but anyway, let's have a look inside. Now, this is a people carrier. It's got six seats inside, six belted positions inside and as it's got a, a roof I can stand up inside it. So, uh, now I do appreciate that there are needs and uh, for different people. And the fact that I can't see what the application is doesn't mean to say that it's got no application at all. It may have an application. So, if you want to carry six people around with you, you want to make some food for them. Uh, you've got a fridge here, I believe. Yes, let's see, <laughs> there's the fridge. And um, then, then there's your application. It's a six-seated van with a tent in the roof, uh, for which you can actually have four sleeping places as well. And it's got a little bit of storage capacity. Does that make it a camper van I don't know so we need a proper it's a camping vehicle it doesn't have uh, doesn't have a shower it doesn't have a um, toilet so as it could put a toilet below uh, uh, but bear in mind it could be for somebody who has these particular requirements Where's the bed in the back? I shall show you where the bed is. It's uh, on the back of this chair. Note, of course, also these tracks below, which means to say that you can remove the chairs and put anything else in there, which you might find on tracks, such as extra furniture. Uh, there's companies that make furniture for these tracks, or uh, I don't know, even more seats. Uh, you can find more seats for it uh, in the back. You see that we've got, uh, so we've got this here. This is a bed which will, foot, when the seats go down, this mattress will go down on top of it. Here we've got, uh, that's the water tank. And there we've got uh, for outside shower. And there's a bit more storage. You can see you can actually plug it into the main so it'll charge up the habitation battery now I need to point out that I haven't got all the details of it off the top of my head but if you look at the description there will be the sizes I just don't want to start making um, sometimes I make mistakes and I forget things but um, uh, just want to come back now to what this has got here so uh, if that um, price there 75,000 bed size 188 by 110 and the uh, in the bed and tent in the 190 by 110 so 180 by 110 190 by 110 and uh, that's it right so uh, as you can see I'm not particularly impressed by this vehicle it's 75,000 euros and for that type of money well you couldn't quite buy one of these but if you're buying it on installments, then really the installments wouldn't be all that much greater. We've got a camper van down there, and that camper van, although it's uh, 636 centimeters long, so it's 137 centimeters, what was this, 497, four, four, so it's all right. So it's a bit bigger, it's only one and a half meters longer, but uh, that has, it's got a toilet, it's got, it's got, it's got the works. Um, what may be a problem, obviously you may, 
may have a roof or something like that. Um, there may be a reason why you have to uh, get, uh, sorry, roof. You may have a garage which has a lower roof, or you may have an entrance to wherever it is you work which has a lower roof, or something along those lines. That might that might be the thing you're looking for. A tent in the roof is a tent. It only is one layer of fabric. It's not going to keep you very warm when it gets a bit nippy outside. So uh, it could be, of course, that something like this one use is potentially for people who have to uh, travel around on business or something like that and uh, and uh, they don't know where they're going to be sleeping so yeah okay and that that may be an application for it but uh, what I'd suggest though for most people is to look at you can buy for this money from uh, like Bosna for example and it looks the same as um, uh, like it's the same owner uh, you've got a camper van with a similar footprint only only 33 centimeters more that makes far more sense than something along these lines so uh, I am that are these camper cars on the on the Ford Transit with a toilet with a shower it's all okay it's all very cramped but that makes more sense than something along this particularly at that type of money and I also fear that uh, given the uh, the um, events for example in, in Australia New Zealand where there are these camper friendly towns but they don't want non self-contained the self-contained vehicle is one which has a toilet and a shower and uh, now if you're always going to campsites then you may think, think you don't need it uh, but always going to campsites and I said it might be useful for people who are on business and doing long trips the two things there somehow actually don't really add up um, it's not the same type of use let's have a quick look around what else we've got to see and um, Right, this is the Leica stand. So we've got these motor homes which look really nice uh, inside, semi-integrated. Here's a compact um, integrator, compact, maybe it's not quite compact, seven meters long, uh, uh, to these more luxurious vehicles that we've got over here. Over here in the corner is a uh, camper van with a rear lounge. You don't see many of them. And uh, I started going on about, oh here's LMC for example, another Heimer company and um, you could get something along these lines, here I'll show you this, uh, this is not a five, this is a six meter um, camper van, but the cost of this is, is you see this is even cheaper right, 70, 72,000 and look here, you got, there's a shower, there's a toilet, all right there's a, a proper fixed bed there's a stack of storage in here now isn't this a far better bet than something like that and i'm, I'm not biased against leica because uh, i'm showing you a, a company with the same owners which is the erwin heimer group group and okay what about something like this here was a black forest camper but here's one with a footprint Campio C540 footprint of this thing here is not much different it's 43 centimeters longer and uh, seven I think or let's say under 10 centimeters wider it's got the same daft tent in the roof but never mind that and look you've got this there's your shower toilet there's probably a light for it somewhere oh, that's on it probably a light for it somewhere uh, proper fixed bed storage so I'm doing my best here to sort of persuade you to get something else and what's the cost of this there you go 72,143 it's cheaper right so yeah, here's the Heimer stand. There's the Venture S, one of the most um, revolutionary, maybe. I don't know if that's the right word, because it's about a quarter of a million euros it costs. Uh, 
but it's uh, one of the most original, there's a better word. Uh, and there's something, what's that say, death? E-A-T-H. Oh well, well that's a good, good way of advertising a van. Here's the most um, uh, brightly coloured off-road vehicle, it's the Heimer Grand Canyon. That's uh, about 130,000. And uh, here's some Nissan camper vans, which I think, I think might even be, some of them may be electric, I don't know. Which uh, brings me back to the star of uh, this particular show. Now, now, what do you think, um, rather than ask what you think, what do you think my opinion is? Do you think I'm recommending this vehicle? Yes or no? Do you think like has actually put me up to saying all these good things about it? <laughs> Write your opinions below. Thanks very much for watching.